Hi everyone, this is Piotr Kieszkowski from the Aquarium Television Definite Aquascape TV and this is one before last part of my report from Aquatics Live 2012 show in London. This time I will show you the exhibition of Fancy Guppies made by members of Fancy Guppies UK club. With me I have Mr. Stephen Elliott, the events manager of the club, who will be our guide during this tour. Okay, Stephen, if you can wave a little bit. Hello, yeah. Perfect. Okay. So, it's a huge subject. I don't know where we, we could begin. Um, but essentially we have 12 different tail shapes. Um, and they're split into three sections. That's broad tails, sword tails and short tails. We've got a, a selection of, of several different ones here today. Um, if we have a look at the mm -hmm. yeah, sure. short tails, top left hand side. Um, big one. Yeah, the one that you're looking at at the moment, this one. Uh -huh, yeah, okay. We call that a, a panda guppy. Panda guppy, okay. Yeah, it's black body, uh -huh, yeah, white face right. and black uh -huh. eyes. Like orca. Yeah, <laughs> it's better because it's a fish. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a mammal actually, but... At least, um, oh right, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, one. yeah. The um, the tail shape on this is a, a round tail, so it's oh. supposed to have a short dorsal. It's the only guppy that has a short dorsal, so it's supposed to end at the base of the, the tail. Mm -hmm. All the others are supposed to go one third of the way into ah, the tail. Okay. Um, it's actually a pink fish underneath. You recognise most guppies are have a grey body or a blonde yeah. body. This one has a pink body. Pink body. And the way we recognize that is on the female, the base of the tail going towards the vent, the bottom quarter, if you like, doesn't have any black edges to the scales. Uh -huh. And that's the telltale. Otherwise, looking at the male, you wouldn't be able to tell it's a pink fish at all. OK. Um, we have this one here, which is a, a, a nice looking fish. Again, um, that is a half black red, and it's, it's probably getting towards a, a coffer tail rather than a round tail. We can tell that by the shape of the dorsal on the male. Uh -huh. It's pointed and it goes a third into the tail. But it really not a very good tail shape for, for either. Uh -huh. But this example shows you where uh, female can carry colour because yeah. mostly it's males that yeah. carry the colour. Occasionally we get them like this, and it, it's a nice colour on the female. Mm -hmm. okay. um, if we go bottom row, starting on the left, these are triangle tails, uh -huh. and the first one oh, is. Nice. Ooh what we call a half black white. Uh -huh. Got a white tail, white finage. Nice looking fish. Yeah. The next one coming along this way is half black again, but it's blue. Half black mm -hmm. blue. Yeah. Which again is a, a nice looking uh, fish. Mm -hmm. But you can tell there's a theme here because the next one is half black yellow. Wow, and that's a really nice yellow colour. Fish is slightly small, but it's a good example. Now, a lot of people see these. Uh, they, these are all shown as pairs, but often in Europe they're shown as trios. And people see the really good colour, trios, yeah, uh -huh. colour quality, trios of males. People see the good quality of yellow in the males and they buy them to breed uh -huh. with. But in fact, it's actually the females that you need to buy because a good quality uh -huh. yellow comes from the female, not the male. Mm -hmm. Next one, continuing the theme, uh -huh. it's half black red, yeah. but it's got a pattern in the red, which is more like a shop bought fish. But, although uh, this one isn't. Mm -hmm. But the next one along is more distinguishable. That's a proper red colour. Oh, That's okay. a really nice red, yeah, uh -huh. half black red again. Yeah. 
The next one is still half black, but that one's been crossed uh -huh. with what we call filigree, which is like a mosaic colour. Uh -huh. It's not a plain colour. All the others have just been plain yeah, single colours. Yeah, yeah. This, this one, one says pattern. Yeah, so it's half black filigran. Filigran. Filigran is a German word. Filigran, okay. So uh, we'd, we'd call it um, snakeskin. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Alright. So that makes a really nice set of fish there for mm -hmm. the display. Yeah. Um, the next one is a three quarter black. Ah, uh -huh. but it's not panda. Not a panda. Nor an orca. <laughs> More interestingly, again, there's another set to look at, the next four fish. When you have a guppy that has a black head, yeah, we call that Mosco. Okay. Alright? So this first one, and I don't know if you can pick it up very well, but it's a Mosco blue. And it has a, a really rich blue colour. Uh -huh, yeah. On the on the finnage and on the body. That's a Moscow blue. And these yeah. are all triangle tails, uh -huh. of course. Yeah, it would, it would be impossible to see without the flashlight. The blue colour, I mean. Yeah. It's, yeah it, okay. Well, it's a good trick. Okay. Yeah. All right. This next one is. And that's difficult to uh, picture, but it's a Moscow black. Uh -huh. It's got a really deep colour, a matte black, especially on its head. The next one is a little bit special. I don't think anyone's got these in the UK yet. It's a small fish, oh, okay. and whether or not you can tell, but that's a Moscow purple. Purple? Purple colour. Well, it doesn't look, it doesn't look purple to me. It looks very blue, but there is, if you get it in the right light, it is purple. And then my favourite is the next one, which is a Moscow green. Oh yeah, this is one that's and, one that's nice. and uh -huh. you don't get many green fish. Yeah, okay. Can you try without the flashlight? Because yeah. It's, the light was too strong and my camera it was too bright. The yeah. image was too bright. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you need the light green. to bring the, the colour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Moscow green. Moscow green. Moscow green. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you can see the, the, the green colour. Okay. Next section along here is actually sword tails. Mm -hmm. So in here we've got examples of that's a double sword, which obviously everybody recognises. Yeah. And what's quite rare is to have a top sword. Top sword? Yeah. Ah, so okay. the next one along has a top sword. Uh -huh. It's got a nice um, Japan blue body and a, a yellow metallic head. Mm -hmm. The next one completes the set. That's a bottom sword. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. It looks as if you turn the previous fish upside, down, upside, down, upside yeah. down, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's a long sword. Yeah. Is it important, the length of the sword itself? Um, the the, for sword, judges, the for swords judging? on all of them should be the same length mm -hmm. as the body. Ah, okay. So they're all slightly long. Mm -hmm. So th these are all pairs that we've been looking at, but we also have in Europe uh, trio shows, and that's a trio of males. So these last three tanks are trios of males.
The sword tails in, in the middle have exceptionally nice colour on the body. Yeah, yeah, that's right. The pattern. Wow, yeah. that's, that's nice. Really nice. The dorsal uh -huh. should be a little bit longer and a bit more pointedy. And also the, the tails should be a bit longer and a bit thinner. But the body colour is really uh -huh. nice. How do you get a pattern like this? It's just about breeding them, looking what the, uh, yes, what's the outcome, and select, selecting the selection of the uh, the breeding stock. So, on these you would probably select the best male and use that. Uh -huh. Whereas, as I said before, uh, with the half black yellows, you have to select the best female. Uh -huh. So the difficulty is with all the different types is working out which traits are carried by yeah, the, fa mm -hmm. the female or which are by the male. Yeah. It's quite often the, the big triangle tails, um, you would have what you call a shark fin on the tail of the female and that would give you a big size tail yeah, on the male. On the male, yeah. All right. yeah. Um, All right. We've got another top sword, that's filigran again, uh -huh. the nice snake skin, skin. Yeah. and that's a nice good quality clean fish. But in case of female, it's, if the female doesn't, has, doesn't have any color, it's impossible what genes, what features is she carrying, you just well, mix it with the male. You don't know, that's a grey uh, female, uh -huh. so there's, there's no colours there, she doesn't carry the colours. Um, sometimes you get a thickening on the top edge or the bottom edge of the tail, and that would help you to select uh -huh, a good yeah, quality okay. sword. Fortunately I can't see one on, on that particular one. It's not showing it on that. Um, uh, if you look at this one on the female and zoom in on the ah, tail, yeah. just the tail, you can see there's a bit of colour yeah. that thickens on the top edge and yeah, the bottom yeah, exactly. edge. Uh -huh. That indicates that it'll give double swords. Uh -huh. And likewise, you often get it where it just thickens on the bottom. That's for a bottom uh -huh. sword. Bottom first, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's still. It must be really difficult because each animal is like a bag for genes, yes. and it's it's a many many genes for many future features. Yes. So it's uh, a jigsaw yeah. puzzle. Yeah. And they don't exactly. they don't yeah. always fit. And, and even if you've got the same type of fish but two different strains, it doesn't mean to say uh -huh. that they're going to be compatible. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, All right. the, the, this next fish along <coughs> is a double sword, yeah. and it's a neon red, which is really mm. nice colour. One of the problems that you get with this one when you're trying to breed it is the colour on this is really nice, mm -hmm. but the finish is a bit rubbish. And the dorsal should be more pointed, ah. and the, the, the swords on the tail should be thinner and more pointed. Mm -hmm. yeah. What happens with this fish, you either get really nice finnage and not very good colour, or you get really good colour uh -huh, and not very nice yeah. finnage. Yeah. Okay guys, so this was Stephen Elliott. Hello. <laughs> waving, yeah, waving is a very basis of getting more views, yeah? Okay. Great. <laughs> Stephen Elliott from Fancy Guppies UK Club. This is the website of the club www.fancyguppies.co.uk. You can find lots of information there. And if you like this video, please share it with others. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my page on Facebook, or bookmark my website to be updated about new videos. And now, thank you for your attention. This was Piotr Kieszkowski from the Aquarium Television Definite Aquascape TV.